They're coming. They're coming your way. They'll be here soon. Will you be ready? This one might seem new to most of you, unless of course you're Hispanic and grew up in a Hispanic household just like me. See, back in the 90s and the 2000s, there was this massive show called Sabado Gigante that aired on Univision, a Latin American channel that hosted everything from drama to news to daytime talk shows, movies. Yeah, it was, it was great. For my mom and dad, at least. Pruébala. Es cocaína. Yeah, even though I speak Spanish, I, I didn't really like what Univision used to air. Hell, I bet it, I still wouldn't like if I saw what they aired still. It, it's all just adult stuff, I, I used to think. Cartoon Network was still the channel for me, a growing, healthy kid. Though as much as I really didn't care for Univision, Sabado Gigante, or Gigantic Saturday, was a show I actually really didn't mind watching. There's just sort of a comforting nostalgia when I think back at Sabado Gigante, because I, I remember those calm Saturday nights, sitting close to everyone on the couch or on the floor. My entire family would gather together, get some food or snacks, and watch this four hour long show. Yeah, you heard it right. Four hours long. What the hell could they be doing for four hours? And what the hell is this show doing on Traumathon? Well, to answer your first question, Sabado Gigante was a sort of variety show that pretty much had everything. Hence the phrase, variety show. It had drama, it had comedy, contests, beauty pageants, lie detector tests, live concerts. I mean, Christ, you name it and they had it. And it was all presented by the legendary Don Francisco. It was a real melting pot of a show. Think of it like the Maury Povich show meets Saturday Night Live meets Ellen DeGeneres meets Oprah meets America's Got Talent. Uh, Ah, never mind. You really can't compare Sabado Gigante with anything, maybe except a massive party contained on TV. It was a unique experience that sadly got cancelled in 2015. Although, as much as I enjoyed it, there was that one part of the show that I really, really hated. If you were a small little Mexican boy or girl at the time, then you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. Yeah, that's right. That slimy, ugly, trumpet-blowing creep, El Chacal, or in English, the Jackal. See, towards the end of the show, they'd have a singing contest where contestants try their best to impress the audience with whatever talent in singing they had. Although, let's be honest, most of these people were probably drunk or just wanted an excuse to be on TV, so nine times out of 10, they'd pretty much fail instantly. <laughs> What makes it worse is that El Chacal acted as a heckler and tried to intimidate, distract, or straight up harass the guests. Well, I mean, Don Francisco also tried to distract the guests by wearing stupid hats, which I guess is distracting, but he was more motivational than he was a massive prick like El Chacal. El Chacal would then blow on his trumpet and eliminate the guest, and I swear sometimes he just did it because he just didn't like the people. No, not because of the fact that they were bad at singing, but because there were just something about them that he just didn't like. I'm telling you, this asshole scared the shit out of me as a kid, and I really can't tell you why. It's something about his ghost-like appearance, his weird smile, his creepy attitude, and honestly, just for the fact that he was just a huge cunt. Sometimes he'd just blow his horn so early, the guests barely even had a chance. I was told by my family that sometimes El Chacal would come and get me and feed me to the lions if I didn't behave. Oh, which, by the way, that is something they did sometimes. Yes, that lion scared the shit out of me too as a kid. My family told me when El Chacal blows his horn, the contestants are thrown into the lion's pit and mauled to death. What makes it worse is that they'd throw out a goofy skeleton to play up the shtick that the lion really killed him. Okay, obviously he didn't. 
But I was a dumb little six year old. I really believe they killed the contestants off screen and ripped their flesh and organs out. I, I mean, I didn't think the lion was real for God's sake or anything like that. I just thought that he was a murderer, <laughs> which to be fair is 10 times scarier than if he were just a lion. I mean, seriously, think about it. What's scarier, a man dressed up as a lion who murders you or an actual lion? I, I thought the fucking former was way scarier. I'd sometimes have nightmares of this guy coming into my dreams just to harass me and tease me before he got bored and straight up murdered me. I fucking hated this guy. I swear I cried multiple times just at the sight of this stupid fucking freak. I, I hate him. And I'm glad to know I'm not alone on that either. I'm seeing a lot of comments nowadays saying how much they were scared of El Chacal as a kid, which makes me feel a lot better. That doesn't change the past. And frankly, I'm glad this motherfucking show got canceled. Anything to get this stupid asshole off the air. Fuck you, El Chacal.